Video emerged this afternoon of Palestinian men taken for interrogation. BBC staff recognized the town of Betlachia in northern Gaza, and we've geolocated the video there too. Palestinian diplomats said these were savage images, evoking humanity's darkest times. The Israeli army said only that suspects were being interrogated. Posts on social media said the men had been sheltering with their families at a UN school and that others were killed during the Israeli raid. In this photo, the men have been moved to another location which we have not been able to verify. One of the captives, Dia Al Halut, is a journalist. He was forced to leave his disabled daughter, according to the newspaper he works for in London. Earlier at Israel's parliament, a prominent government supporter told me that only Israeli forces can control Gaza, not the independent Palestine the Americans want. I think that when we talk about uh, two-state solutions, we are solution. We are um, using three words and three lies. It's not two. It's not a state. It's definitely not a solution. So, what's the answer? An everlasting occupation? First. Occupation is not the word. You cannot be, you cannot, uh, one cannot occupy its own land. Israel is not an occupier in Israel because that's in, the land of Israel. So what about Gaza? Again. That's the land of Israel? Land of Israel, you cannot be occupying it. We're not occupying it from anyone. In Gaza, civilians are lost in the rubble of Israeli strikes. So far, the world is not close to controlling the powerful chaotic forces unleashed by this war. The UN Secretary General saying international peace and security is in jeopardy is demanding an immediate ceasefire. A Palestinian leader told me that the US and UK must not veto the next ceasefire resolution. The United States of America and Britain now has the key. If they oppose a resolution about immediate ceasefire, they will not be complicit only with this aggression. They will be a participant in these war crimes. They have to approve the ceasefire immediately because what is at stake is the life of 2.3 million people now. Half of them are children. Without a political solution, this conflict will go on when, if, Israel declares victory in Gaza. The war will not have a neat ending. Two opposing forces are at work here. On the one hand, pressure for a ceasefire. On the other, the determination of the Americans and the British to give Israel the time it needs to achieve its objectives. And one Western diplomat I talked to was thinking about perhaps another month. Now, the UN Secretary General wants to hurry that process up by putting pressure on them and also shaming them into taking action sooner. As Gaza's food queues get longer, the UN says it cannot run a dependable humanitarian operation. With hungry people jumping warehouse fences, Israel says world peace requires Gaza's liberation from Hamas, and that will take force. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Jerusalem.